Hey everyone, this is Jess. Guess what I'm doing? <laughs> you probably saw this coming due to the thing I had at the last episode of Paper Mario. Doing another Let's Play? I'm addicted to these things. I'm not so confident with this one though. I've never actually beaten the game that I'm about to play. I've gotten to the final boss before, but I didn't beat the final boss. But let's give it a shot anyways! Okay. Yes, I'm using my Wii. And no, it's not a Wii game. I have the player's guide for this game, too! And the tripod is being annoying. Before playing, read the Health and Safety Precautions booklet for important information about your health and safety. This is for people who suffer from seizures. I have nothing against people like that because I know they can't help it. So, if you have seizure problems, please leave now because I don't think watching videos on the computer all the time is good for your health. You have been warned. Nintendo and Intelligent Systems. Wonder what this could be. It's a book! <clears throat> Today, I'm going to tell you the story of the Thousand Year Door. An awfully long time ago, sorry, in a strange far off land, a big bustling town thrived. Random weird. It was a town where all people lived happy lives, and it was said that the town was very prosperous. And one day tragedy befell this blessed place. A great cataclysm struck its town, and they struck the town and its people. Random weird kanji like symbols. Darkness filled the skies, and the earth roared and shook. It was as if the very world had come to a violent end. And in but a single night, the town sank into the depths of the earth. And there was mushrooms and stars and fireflowers, oh my. Many moons rose and set. The stories of the town passed into the pages of fairy tales. And when the town site no longer held relics of its past, people gathered at that spot and built a new town. But word soon spread among the people who moved in that an ancient city lay deep underground and that a magnificent treasure rested there. Indeed. This is the tale of the fabled treasure of Robeport. Yes, this is where it begins in the sea town of Robeport. The tale of the quest for the legendary treasure and the thousand year door starts here. And there's Princess Peach down there. If there's Princess Peach, it must be Mario again. Finally, I have a minute without Toad's worth watching over me. He's so paranoid. I come all the way here on holiday, only to be stuck with Toad's worth. It's so stifling. Once in a while, I'd like the chance to look around on my own and see what I want. But now that I'm doing it, all I see is that this town has a very distinct flavor. Oh, Missy! Missy! Do you mean me? Yes, you, Missy. Won't you buy something? I have a way to sort of knickknacks and doodads. Oh, well... Um... Oh, I see something. Pretty box. What's inside it? It is said that this box holds a map that shows where a legendary treasure sleeps. But the box has a magic lock on it that will only open for a pure and noble heart. As you can see, it won't so much as budge if one such as myself touches it. Oh. I know. If the box will open for you, Missy, then you may have whatever is inside. I am sure that whatever is in there would be of no use to someone like me. So, Missy. Take this box in your hands and see what happens. Um, alright. What's the harm? I'll 
I'll try to open it. Paper Mario, the thousand year door. Yeah. At the moment, I've recently been, not recently, I lately I've been watching another Let's Play of this by Chucky Conroy. He does an excellent job in it. We're going to start a new game, of course. And just like the Paper Mario, we're going to name this file awesome. Because I'm awesome, you're awesome, Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door is awesome. Yes, I'm done. If you notice, there was a file down there called Sonic, and it had all seven of certain artifacts. Ignore that, okay? That has nothing to do with this. Party members from Paper Mario do not make a reoccurring appearance in this one. Just Perry Carey, and as I've read on Mario Wiki, Lady Bo shows up in Poshly Heights. Miracle! And now you'll never see him again in this entire game! I don't think. Luigi, go get the mail! Go get the mail, you mail slave! Hey, bro, check it out! A letter from a Princess Peach arrived for you! Awesome! I will just read it to you. How's that, that sound? Okay, I guess. Apparently, Mario's still illiterate. Now, let's see here. I'm having a party in my castle. No! Hello there, Mario. I'm now on holiday traveling in the Mushroom Kingdom. In my travels, I came into possession of a mystical map. A treasure map, actually. It was inside a box that I got from an old merchant in a, in a town called Rogueport. But since it would be too difficult for me to try and go find the treasure all by myself, I thought you could help me hunt for it. You will, of course, won't you? I've included the map with this letter, so please bring it with you when you come. I'll meet you in Rogueport. That means you must come! Sincerely, Peach. And off we go! Oh, wait, not yet. What do you know? It's a true! There's a weathered old map in here with the letter! Check it out! What do you know? It's true, there is a map. Da, da, da. Ooh, that pretty sun. Da, da, da. Prologue. A rogue's welcome. Excuse me, sir. Please wake up, sir. The town you've been speaking of is coming to view. Look, that's Rogueport. Oh, there it is. You see, we'll arrive shortly. Priest, prepare to disembark. Okay. Let me get my underwear in a bag here. There we go. Here we are! I must apologize, sir. Our, our arrival was delayed just a bit by rough weather. Are you quite sure you want to disembark here? I did tell you all the sordid tales about Rugport on our way here, did I not? Yeah, you did, but I don't care. Is that... I'm sorry? You say there's a princess waiting here for you? Is that so? Er, of course, sir. Well, if that's what you think, I won't stop you. You be careful, sir. Din don't say I didn't warn you. I love the music for Rogueport. It actually sounds like a CD port town. 
They did good mixing the music with the mood. As you see, Mario can jump and he has a hammer. And we're going to end it here. Sorry I didn't get much done. Just like in Paper Mario, you hit this block and you can save. I guess I'll see you guys later. And no, I'm not going to spin because you can't spin in a thousand year door, which sucks. See you guys later.